Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. In this lecture, I will discuss about molecular basis of inheritance. Dear students, don't get frightened with these difficult words like molecular basis or inheritance. On the contrary, you should enjoy them because in my upcoming lectures, I will use these kind of words very frequently. So, how you can love genetics? The only key is you should listen the lecture and the difficult words on the regular basis and try to understand them and pronounce them as much as you can. Okay? In previous lectures, the two words were very common. One, factors are, you can say, alleles. Okay? Both are one, but, uh, but here I have mentioned two. Okay? Mr. Mandel have used these words very frequently. Like for the transfer of any character from parents to offspring, a factor is responsible. What is factor or what is inside the factor? Okay. We are going to operate it. Okay. Before the dissection of word factor, you have to go to the previous lecture. Or, I, or correctly, I will say the previous year's lecture that is cytology. Just imagine the cell structure what is present in the cell very prominent it is nucleus okay and inside the nucleus there are thread like structures on these thread like structures which are known as chromosomes there are present some discrete segments or you can say the chromosome it is made up of segments and these segments are the factors, are alleles. Okay? And we have to find what is present exactly in the gene, or allele, or a factor. So students, all this is uh, about microscopic structures. I will say you, welcome to molecular world and enjoy the structure. Before going ahead, I will um, I will like to give a brief history about DNA because DNA is present in these segments. Or you can say DNA is responsible for inheritance of a character. Clear? Franklin and Wilkin, they were the first scientists who studied the structure of DNA and how they studied it with the help of X-ray. There is a phenomena that is known as X-ray diffraction. They applied it in studying the DNA and they produced a data. And this data was later on used by Watson and Crick. And the DNA model, uh, it is very famous and it is known by the name Watson and Crick model of DNA. But actually, it was studied by the Franklin and Wilkins. Remember it, the three scientists, uh, Wilkins, Watson and Crick, they were uh, given the Nobel Prize for their discovery and uh, uh, unfortunately. Franklin was died at that time and for Nobel Prize it is not given posthumously. That means when a person is dying, so he is not awarded by the Nobel Prize. It is only uh, given to the lie persons who have done some good work. Okay? Dear students, the chromosomes which have thread-like structures is actually made up of DNA. What is DNA? DNA is a polymer of nucleotides. 
रिमेंबर इट पोलीमर इज अ स्ट्रक्चर विच कंटेन सेम रिपीटिंग यूनिट्स एंड इन डी एन ए द सेम रिपीटिंग यूनिट इज न्यूक्लोटाइड क्लियर एंड द न्यूक्लोटाइड इट इज मेड अप ऑफ नाइट्रोजीनियस बेसिस अ पेंटॉस शुगर एंड अ फॉस्फेट ग्रुप क्लियर नाइट्रोजीनियस बेसिस पेंटॉस शुगर which is also known as deoxyribose and a phosphate group firstly nitrogenous bases these are of two types purines and pyrimidines firstly purines purines they are heterocyclic that means it is not having the same molecules and the molecules that are present in purines are carbon and nitrogen so it is heterocyclic nine membered double ring and structures with nitrogen it is present at position 1 3 7 and 9 and examples of purine they are adenine and guanine clear pyrimidine these are also heterocyclic six membered single ring structure remember it purine that was double ringed structure but pyrimidines they are single membered are single ring structure okay and nitrogen it is present at position 1 and 3 clear and examples we have cytosine thymine and there is one more that i would like to mention it is uracil cytosine and um it is very common in dna and rna but thymine it is only present in dna and in rna instead of thymine we have uracil clear uracil is only present in rna and in dna there is thymine there this is a big difference between dna and rna that in dna we have thymine but in rna we have uracil dear students in your textbook that is uh, by ncert of class 12th at page number 296 you can see the figure 6.1 and it describes a polynucleotide chain just look at it it is a structure of dna okay and remember there are three different type of bonds what kind of bonds three different kind of one very prominent the hydrogen bonds other is the glycosidic bonds and the third one phosphodiester bond or linkage a nitrogenous base either purine or pyrimidine it is linked to the sugar that is pentose sugar it is the only sugar that is present in dna or rna okay and this purine or pyrimidine it is attached with the pentose sugar via a glycosidic linkage clear and it forms nucleoside when a phosphor group it gets attached with the uh, this structure it forms a nucleotide okay and the phosphor group it is attaching to the sugar are with who has already a uh, nitrogenous bases which is purine or pyrimidine it forms nucleotide clear now three kind of bonds are present one is glycosidic bond other is phosphodiester bond and the third one is the hydrogen bonds uh in my next lecture i will discuss in detail about the hydrogen bonds 
when i will describe the watson and crick model for dna this was a introductory lecture for molecular dna or molecular genetics so thank you for the this time and um, if you have any comment or any question you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com do message me there and listen other lectures too